Good morning and welcome back to the office. Now I have actually played golf. I played Saturday, Sunday last week. Saturday I played away, shot um, 12 over. Shot 12 over playing away. A lot of temporary greens because of the permafrost. Um, on, on the surface they look completely defrosted but I, I took one of these big tea pegs but how far will this actually stick into the green? And it kind of like went in about half an inch before it hit resistance. So underneath last weekend, it was still pretty frozen. And then on the Sunday, played at Lillybrook. Um, I had to switch to Stableford because I, I couldn't keep up my stroke play score. I lost three balls. I scored 25 Stableford points, which is... 11 over my handicap. Yeah, it was that bad. On the first hole, I topped my three wood. I topped my three wood. Then I hit a five iron out of bounds. Then I hit a five iron on the green. Two putted for a seven. Yeah, it was, it was that bad. Since driving ranges have gone to 10 pounds and more for a bucket of balls, I just haven't been practicing. It's, it's like a threshold has been passed where I just don't want to pay. And that's not just because I got Yorkshire blood in me. I just think it's, it's stupid. It's absolutely stupid prices now. Uh, this is Saturday. I didn't play today, even though I'm dressed for golf. I went up to a particular golf club, met up with some friends and had a good chat over lunch. I'm playing tomorrow. I've got a tea time at Lillybrook. So I'm playing with uh, my youngest David at Lillybrook tomorrow morning. I think 10.40, 10.45, something like that. I got some news. So, um, quiet please, and I'll give you the news. The news is I've got a letter. So this was sent to Lillybrook for me. It's even got my name on it. But before we get there, so far, if I pull the laptop round, which is duplicated on this screen, absolutely nobody has asked me what this photograph is. I've had no inquiries whatsoever. So I'm going to tell you. That is the eighth hole out of 27 at Lamshebang. It's a par three of about 127 yards, and I hit a nine iron to about that. So I kind of like photographed it from the tee. Now you can't see it on here, but there's a little white dot next to the flag, and that's my ball. Perhaps I'll put the photograph up here somewhere and zoom in a bit so you can actually see. That's my claim to fame at Lam Shebang. Actually, I got another claim to fame at Lam Shebang. I have parred all three nines. The only problem is, is I've never parred two of the nines in the same round. <laughs> Always made a mess of it. So I got an email from the secretary at Lillybrook saying that there was a letter for me from another golf club. And I said, I'll be up Saturday morning to pick it up. Now I've had an email from the golf club who sent this. So I know who this is from. I just don't know what's inside it. Shall we? If I'm going to read it, I've got to change. This is the West Monmouthshire Golf Club. Dear Simon, I hope you're well and the golfing gods are treating you kindly. I appreciate that this letter may be a little out of the blue, but I think you should know that you're still very much in our thoughts since you last visited us. Yeah, I've been twice. I've meant to go more. There's something about that golf course 
that really um, really lights my fire and it's not just because it's the highest course in the UK or that I'm the only YouTuber who's gone to visit it's just that each hole presents you with um, a different type of challenge and it's um, is it, I think it's a par 71 with five five par threes which are five of the most interesting par threes I've ever played. Your kind words about the course may have been informative to your YouTube viewers but to us they represented much much more more I'm sure than you could ever have imagined. For the first time we had someone extolling the virtues of the club leading to greater public recognition. Well that's, that's part of the reason why I seek out these small I say small, what I mean by small is small membership number sort of forgotten golf courses, you know in that part of the world everyone dashes off to the rolls of Monmouth or Celtic Manor or Royal Porthcawl or the Vale of Glamorgan and there's a lot of outstanding golf courses which kind of like get a little forgotten and that's why I seek them out and giving us more confidence to promote what we have to offer however this is changing and we are getting fantastic feedback from players who are visiting us in increasing numbers oh that's good news that, that's, that is really good news that people are actually visiting be nice if, if someone like um, imagine if someone like a, a Rick Shields or a Peter Finch or a Dan Hen Hendrickson went and played West Monmouthshire Imagine the impact that would have with goodness knows how many thousands of views. We are so grateful for what you have done for us and members felt that we had to demonstrate in this some way. Therefore at our recent annual general meeting it was unanimously agreed Good grief. Oh boy. You now agreed to offer you honorary membership of West Monmouthshire Golf Club. So giving you life membership with full full plane privileges and you can graze some sheep on the course. I could take some sheep Bloody hell. Wow, um, thank you, that, 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 that's, that's amazing, <coughs> I don't know what to say, um, honorary membership of Wealth West Monmouthshire Golf Club giving you life membership, or all I can say is that the very first time I went there was an awful lot of warmth from members and staff alike and when we paid a second visit uh, uh, that had grown uh, and there's something about Wales that, that, that is like that it, it's, it's in the blood to be a, a welcoming people and um, We do not expect any commi commitment whatsoever from you, but we will be honoured if you could accept. Accepted. That, that, that's... Wow. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what to say. Other than yes, yes, I would love to come and play your course. We're coming this year again. I'm going to try and bring some new faces. Um, 
and, and show off the course and, and hopefully they are as passionate about it as I am and as passionate about it as you are. Um, it's a very deceiving golf course. Because it's wide open it looks like you can hit the ball anywhere and never be punished for hitting the ball anywhere. As the boiler fires up. <laughs> But you can't. You've got to. You've got to hit the fairways up there. The, the rough is this kind of like stubbly. Um, that's, that's the best way I can describe it. Is it's a bit stubbly. So w what happens is the ball will sink to the bottom of the stubble, and you know what's going to happen there. You're not going to be able to get your club on the back of the ball properly, so it's not going to go go as far. And then on the next hole, you miss the fairway, and it sits on top. And you don't know what you're going to get out of that. If, if you're very good at picking it, you'll get a decent shot. But if you kind of like go under it a bit, and you hit the ball high on the face, then that isn't going to go so far. So that is the one of the appeals of the golf course. It looks wide, but you've got to hit those fairways. And you've got to hit the green in the right place. As I say, the, the five par threes just just light me up and each one for a different reason yeah I am absolutely honored to be offered this and I I I accept bloody hell and that's from David Cook honorary secretary David I'd like to thank you and the membership very much uh, and I'm exceptionally grateful to get this and, and I will honour it. I am going to come back and uh, um, as I say bring a number of other guys with me and um, let's make some more videos shall we. I need to write you a, a proper letter David and I need to write a letter to the members and it might take me a little while to compose that correctly. Um, This is going in a frame. This is this is going on my wall here. This is going but next to you can't see it from me because it's the wrong way around. Let me spin you round. So that's my Wentworth signatures. And that's Jack. So yeah, this is going on my wall. Whoopee. Cheerio.